All right. So, um, as I mentioned them earlier, uh, Tasso, okay. since the last time we met, uh, which was what, early March, um, I'm going to say that a year has gone by in uh, adventuring terms. So it's a, it's a year okay. from when you guys were last um, kind of going through the tomb. Uh, what ended up happening is um, you ended up clearing out most of the tomb. Uh, you were you guys were very close as it was, um, and then you are um, uh, you don't really remember exactly what happened. Um, all you know is that. Uh, you looked into Zizamancer's like eyes, and like you kind of fell asleep, and then you you wake up, and you're you're kind of in a haze in the sense that um, you don't exactly remember what happened or what didn't. You have kind of flashes and memories, um, and they're not exactly. Um, but when you wake okay. up, and you're like you know, back to full form and kind of, uh, you know, uh, part of yourself again. Um, you're on the road walking back towards um, the mountains that um, uh, you came from, those Moon Peak Mountains. So um, you have this knowledge in you now that for some reason you need to go to this certain location, which is in the Moon Peak Mountains, and you need to, for some reason, explore this area, um, and you, you have an urge to do so. It's a very convenient GM tool to get you guys to go to the place that I want you to go. So I'm just, <laughs> I'm just gonna do that. So. Since we had a nice. really weird situation um, with the the whole COVID thing, we're just going to have to do this. Make another weird situation, huh? <laughs> it's a situation, and uh, so since it's a situation, this is where we're at. So, so what about my character? You, for some reason, just happen to be there, and it's like you've never weren't there. Great. Arnie challenges you to a push. <laughs> yeah no okay you guys should see um a map at this point the map of uh the dusty bear. yep so i do this is and that's kind of um you have flashes and memories of being there um you remember it was kind of the scummy version of helix um and you guys are traveling, and you know that you're traveling only to this location right here. So just a little bit away, and that's where you're headed to. Um, where we at? So it's just a little bit uh, south, southeast, oh, southeast of Bogtown. Okay. It's about a half a day's travel outside of Bogtown. Okay. And you know that it's some sort of ancient, um, it, it, it was some sort of place that was created by um, either a madman or a great man, it, it, one or the other, maybe a little bit of both. Um, yeah. But uh, you know, some people think that it, that it used to be like an asylum. Some people say that it used to be a prison. Some people say that it used to just be an underground community. Some people say that it used to be a dwarven fortress. Um, it, it, no one's 100% sure at the moment. Uh, you know, just a lot of myth that, and legend. Place we've been exploring. No, this is a different location. The place you guys okay. were before was down Okay. We can't see down there. You can just scroll your the map if you just scroll down. Or you can zoom out in your you map. You can zoom uh, out too. On the top right, I put mine over to twenty two percent, and it's pretty good. Uh, all I can see when zooming out is still the same area, the Duchy of Eric. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. There's the little party token that I'm moving around. That's that's I what I can't see that. You see the little circle that I'm. No. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, there it is. It 
Yep. So that's uh, where this is where the 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 temple to set was that you um, discovered. This is where you're headed to right now. So, all right. Sweet. That that is your your current party um, adventure. And like I said, I do understand that this is a little railroady, uh, but I got to get you to the location. <laughs> I promise it will be much more sandboxy once we get back into the flow of doing everything that we we did before. Um, so I'll let you all have your autonomy and go wherever you want to go and do whatever you want to do. Um, and remember, I'm, from I'm here to have fun. what was that? I'm just here to have fun. Good. I uh, am too. There's Iron Guard uh, Mott. I'm flashing yeah, on yeah. it. And Helix is over here where you guys were before. And this is the Barrow, uh, the Barrow Mounds. There where that spot is. So to give you kind of a, a trajectory, basically, of um, where you're at. Uh, uh, professor. Mm -hmm. I'm, a, I'm assuming that... Uh, that uh, for Maze and Helix, I'm assuming we did the little deal thing we had. Yes, you still have generally all the items and things that you had before. Okay, you know but remember uh, after the ball going down, I may deal with the ball man. Yeah. Like, uh, for, then, per for percentages? Burned down. Yeah. Yep. So I'm assuming did we go back after that and you don't remember? Oh, okay. You know that you have whatever gold's on your sheet, and that's how much money you have. You don't remember if you sold the goods. You don't remember what happened to the goods. Last thing you kind of remember was running around underneath there with a basilisk in tow. Um, <laughs> yeah. And uh, it, it's no longer here, um, but you guys are running around uh, getting ready to get into trouble. Any other questions oh, before we continue? I also, I also have a, a snake face and fangs yeah, and do. a 98 plus life expectancy. Yes, so. your life expectancy was increased by, <laughs> by dramatic amounts. <laughs> and... Uh, just for context, mm -hmm. but uh, my character is laden down with quite a bit of gear, like quite a bit of mining gear. And by quite a bit, is it all on your character sheet? Uh, yeah, I just need to buy a lantern, and that's it. All right, let me see your sheet, and if it's what we call excessive, we might adjust your movement. Yeah, it's most likely excessive. Oh. <laughs> I am a dwarf and I'm digging a hole. What do you have a spell book for? You don't cast spell. You don't need a spell book for being a cleric. Oh, I don't. No, you you use your holy symbol and you pray. Ah, uh, okay. So you can delete so that. that. Okay. Probe, or you've got a sledge, you've got some rations, you've got... Oh, yeah, I need to buy some rations. You have some. Oh, wait. oh yeah, I have some, okay. You've got a week's worth, you've got some silk rope. I don't think it's excessive what you have. I think it's fine. All right. So, and you, the... Yeah, you, you're, you should be okay. Like, that's... You have a heavy... You've got a big pack full of stuff, but yeah, you're... You've got enough gear, so all right. Well, that's good to me. Um, anyone else? Anyone got anything before we start getting into it? Nope. Okay. So uh, I got to start tracking some time, doing all sorts of stuff. And of course, why not? So you guys are basically walking up a, a good old-fashioned mountain path uh, and a mountain pass. You're headed towards um, a, a small uh, box canyon 
that is uh, not too far off in the distance. Uh, it's not too far from the swamps. And um, let's see here. Move you. <clears throat> So I have a, a book of uh, herbs, and while we're walking through the forest, I would like to be reading the book and trying to look for any herbs that would help. Okay, you can be looking. Oh yeah, that reminds me. I kind of wanted to buy a book before we left, but like... Bogtown doesn't really have the most extensive of yeah. libraries. They're not what we call reading folk. Yeah, I can, I can tell. They live on the bayou. Uh, oh, they know it's crocodilly. So uh, what's, with these, what's with these uh, <clears throat> PCs in the journal area? Um, it... There are some NPCs that I've created in case you guys hire some people eventually. Uh, we were questioning um, Alistair and Casey. Considering they have a character, they're the only two with character sheets and without bios. Oh, those are uh, some of the people from town that you guys have yeah. met before. You guys, ah. have, you guys have met some of them before. Those go, those are some of the people from Helix. I personally, well, I guess this is kind of out of game, but I want to meet uh, Barrel Gut. Karg? Yeah. Karg's a good guy. A good dwarf. So, yeah, he sold me, he sold me a Mr's sword. Yeah. <laughs> I'm talking that's what he Maybe does. Maybe he can give me a, a cool pole arm. So, just bear with me a second. I'm uh, <laughs> getting the uh, stuff ready here. Was not expecting what we got, but it is what it is. Okay. So, I'm just wondering, but uh, Bolo, mm -hmm. do you need an arrow to the knee as in marriage, or he actually took an arrow to the knee? Uh, he actually took an arrow to the knee. Like a very... Uh, uh, a very literal arrow to Man. me. Man! <laughs> His life has been only sorrow. His That's... life work has been burned down. <laughs> Horrible. Who, who could have done such a thing? <laughs> who could have? You know, who would have done such a terrible, terrible thing to a, such a reasonable human being? All right. <laughs> <laughs> so he destroyed this man's pride and joy. <laughs> Let me get on the map. All right. So, uh, damn it! I do. I gotta turn off. Can y'all see now? Oh. Yeah. I can. Yeah. I, cool. I am covering up the characters, so. So, um, if you go to the journal section, you should be able to grab your character and drag them into um, the um, onto the map. Let's try. I'm pinging the map, so try to set them around that location that I'm pinging. Uh, how? So just Do we, uh... grab and drag. Now, you said in the journal section? In the journal section under SH characters, under your character sheet, you should be able to drag yeah. them into the, into this, the thing. I see Oak and Shield. Oh, there I am. I see Horus. I'm just highlighting stuff. Don't yeah, hide. Yeah, yeah. You got a name. You gotta you grab have to it. Do the name, not the. Uh, you got ah, okay. I was clicking on the uh, the picture. Yeah, the picture. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta go to the whole block. Yeah. 
And oh, there's Arnie. And root beer float is right next to him. And root beer float. Move back over to here. See where I'm ah, okay. pinging. So move your characters over there. I need to zoom in a little bit. So, can we just have like 40 of the uh, silver shots? I would say you can have um, you can have as many as you want, but they cost a gold piece each. Is probably okay. what that's going to be. And where do I put them? In uh, my items and equipment or weapons? Items and equipment. Okay. Just saying, I'm the tank. That's uh, four. Who's Whoopi Float? The dog. Remember? Oh, his... yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. And so now I'm down uh, to 411 gold. Mr. Sherwood, would you please roll 2d6 for me? Um, I need to see something. Okay. Uh, how do I specifically do that? Go go over to the dice that's on the on the menu in the bar. Go to the d6, and then the number next to it is a two. Click on that. The dice in the bar. The dice in the toolbar. In the toolbar. Oh, the top left corner. Uh, could you do backslash roll and two D? You could do that too. Um, but the button is usually pretty quick. You want everyone or just him? Just him. Yeah. Slash. Roll. 2d6. Do you have any modifiers or just... Just that. Alright. 11. Wow. Okay. <laughs> okay. And, um, let's see, um, Arnie, please roll 1d6 for me. Oh, no. <laughs> and let me roll for them. Okay, that's interesting as well. What kind of thing are we about to come across? Nothing that we can't handle. Where if we run across it. Okay. Oh. Oh. Oh dear. <laughs> Oh, I see four. Are these constructs? Please tell me these are constructs. Oh, five. Say. <laughs> Looks like uh, frogmen. So, um, let me put them in some sort of reasonable fashion. Um, they're probably... I can't... Oh. You can grab and drag on the map, and you can zoom in yeah, and out. Yeah, they... Oh. Yeah, they're most likely frogmen. So, what ends, up, what ends up happening is um, you guys are walking along. You're, you're headed um, towards the direction that the, the, uh, the creatures that you see are. Um, and you guys are startled. You're, you're taken unawares, but it looks like they are too. Um, they're doing something with the tree that's right here. You're not exactly sure what. Um, they could just be like cutting it down, um, but you're not sure what exactly they're doing. So they have a couple of guys that are spread out in order to kind of, you know, be a guard. Um, and then they're there. They're roughly... Um, somewhere in the neighborhood of uh, five to six feet tall. Um, they are reptilian by look. 
Um, so they have long legs. Their tails are kind of stumpy, a little shorter. Um, and they have like spikes basically kind of on their head. Um, and they've got, uh, oh. and a lot of them have, uh, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, weapons basically with them. Um, and some oh, of them. Bold. We should stay away. You've seen kobolds before. Kobolds are about three oh, feet yeah. tall. These are about twice that size. Yeah, these are lizardmen. Mm. So well. they see you, and you see them. Um, um. Hey, uh, who has the highest charisma here? You. Probably eighteen. You. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna step forward to right here, and I'm just gonna wave at them and uh, say, "How are you?" Just okay. call out, "How are you?" I'm gonna hold root beer float so he doesn't do anything wild. Okay. Um, yeah, he's kind of got his haunches up, like his haunches up, and yeah. Um, and you can hear him like he has a low baritone like growl. So yeah, I'm just gonna You're gonna yell like hello. Yeah, and I'm just gonna like give him a wave. So this one right here, uh hold on, let me that one. Oh yeah. He looks back. And he's talking um, to his compatriots in a language that you do not understand. Um, and he's like, and he's like pointing at y'all. Uh, does anyone here understand the language? Nah, I First do. off. I will check your character sheets really quick, but I am highly doubtful. The only one that really has a chance is um, Oakenshield, and he does not. Okay, then. <laughs> um, I'm going to... Uh... I'm going to gesture behind us as if asking, like, you what's want your, us to leave? What's your charisma bonus? Uh, I have a charisma of 18, so... Plus three. That's pretty good. Plus four, I think. Plus yeah. three. Or is it plus three? Oh, yeah. Plus three. Yeah, you're, you're pretty good at that. That's interesting. <laughs> if we've got 12 18, how can we ask if he's got the highest charisma? I could I could give him a large sack. I have three of those. I have three large sacks, and I could just gift him that just to see what happens. Never yeah, mind. Um, so what are you going to do? I'm gesturing behind us as if, like, I'm asking, you want us to leave? Like, I'm gesturing, uh, oh. So, okay. These guys kind of start stepping up. What are you doing? I want to stand um, my ground. You're standing your ground? I'm With the dog, yeah. To the guys, we might want to leave. Might they, uh, seem, they seem like they're doing something over there that they don't want any disturbance with. And there are a lot more of them than there are of us. So if they're coming at us, right? No, they're just uh, guarding it. Well, a couple have stepped up. Okay. I want to try to move. I want to try to move, like with Dude, you guys, they... like, but go. Are, so, are they blocking the direction we're trying to go? So we're trying to go diagonal or to the east. So you're trying to go uh, on this map. If it was oriented like standard, you were you're trying to go south. Uh, which oh, so they're trying to go where they they're, are. Right, you're, you're, they're, you're trying to follow that they're, path, they're, basically. That's going down. You might be able to find another way around if you go and look, but it will take take you guys more time to get to your location. Hi. So I have. 
I mean, I guess I. How many rations do we have? I have seven. I also have seven. Hold on. I'm checking now. Hold on. Wait a second. Actually, I'm going to check my character sheet real quick. Because I, I think... Hold on. They move up about ten you. feet. I see. Yeah. There's a group of four of them that are in the back. They're still working on the tree. Uh, they're still doing something to that tree. Yeah. Can we see what they're working on? Between, like... The, the rocky kind of things and the, the different outcroppings, it's a little difficult. They seem to be doing something to the tree. You, the closest thing you, you're, you're guessing is that they're chopping it down. So Okay, hold on. Could, Wait. could I go up to the lead guy with my dog and try and give him one ration? Wait, wait. Uh, you probably don't want to do that. Can That's I... probably true. That's probably true, but I could probably... All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to go down to, like, initiative and order and doing action. So that way we're not talking over each other. We're not doing that. At this point, like, I'm not saying there's, you know, going to be a fight or there isn't going to be a fight. But I want to get some semblance of order to, to kind of what we're doing. Um, so what I'm going to do is... Uh, are you able to, uh, Oak and Shield, are you able to roll dice yet or no? Me? Yes. I think so. Go ahead and roll a d6 for me. Oh, there you go. Okay. Yeah. So I will roll their initiative as well. That's fun. It's simultaneous. Um, so oh, nice. Um, <laughs> I'll let y'all go ahead and make your, what you're going to do. Um, I know what they're going to do in, in, my, in my head, so... Um, Let's go around um, and so who wants to go first and do something? Uh, can I? Sure. What do you want to do? Um, can I say that I bought a hand axe back at like before? No, no yeah. you you've got you have your you had a long time shopping with a lot of gear. If you don't have it, you don't got it right okay. now. Okay. Um. So. So okay. I have, yeah. I have um, some basilisk bat statues. When mm -hmm. I see that there's, I have seven of those. When okay. I see that there's six people up there, so could I try and give them the super cool, like hyper realistic bat statues? You can see. If, you well, can. Could I lay them? Could I lay them out? I say two tiles in front of them and see if they accept them. And I go back to where I am. So it it looks like if I go out halfway, lay down the tiles or lay down the statues, and then go back. Okay. I want to do that. All right. So you do. Um, so we're just going to. Or, or I also have basilisk scales. Should I should I put down some basilisk scales there as well? Group? Um, yeah. I no. was going to suggest we help them out with whatever they're doing. But we like, don't want to yeah. act hostile at first. Yeah. So, I mean, we can't, we can't really talk to them. I'm going to say that that thing that I put down is the statues. Uh, okay. Yeah. That works. So I have I have seven of those. So would I put down like six or five? Dude. Because there's six of them in the front right here. Yeah, do six. Yeah. Yeah, right. just put down six of them. I'm putting six. Okay, so you put down six of those. These guys, they like hot. They move over the rock pretty easily. Oh, <laughs> That's no bueno. <laughs> That's the, that fun. <laughs> so now they're they're picking up the, the statues and they're looking at them. Do I see any gratification on their face? Um, Are they it, they look like they're sniffing them. Occasionally, one might bite it um, to see, mm. like, and then like, yeah, um, and and do that. And yeah, they so they're examining them right now. So, um, so that's what you did, and that's kind of what they're doing. What's um, uh, Oak and Shield and um, and uh, Horace doing? Uh, okay, uh, you can go. Um, 
you can go first if we know what, what you're doing. Um, I was even gonna hand them. So I was first gonna like take out some of the spikes I have in my backpack mm -hmm. and my slow hammer and like offer like assistance to them with whatever they're doing to the tree. Okay, so but you're just you, you pull out a hammer and spikes and like wave your arms at now, them. Now, now that I see that <laughs> they're like. They're not really all that intelligent. I'm going to bring out two of my rations and just, uh... Because they are poisonous. They aren't that big. So you're tossing some right. rations over to them? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right, so you toss some rations over. Oak and Shield, what are you doing? Um... Moving w one square to the right, and kind of just have my like shield up, basically, and just kind of hold it and kind of seeing what they're doing. Okay. All right. Um, let's do another round of initiative. Um, this time, uh, Arnie, go ahead and roll a d6. Here we go. Two. And oh, that was not good. very quick, but he's strong. Okay, so this round they make a bolt. Huh. So boom! Oh no! <laughs> boom! Boom! And they're pretty darn fast, especially in this terrain. And what are they doing? <laughs> All right, so they move over, and they're, like, <laughs> pouncing, basically, on top of y'all. So, oh. um, that's what they're doing. And... Okay. So... Arnie says, I don't fight you, but I will. They, they're basically attacking with their claws and biting you as well. Hmm. So that that's kind of what they're doing. So they're going to they're going to strike out. So I'm doing something different. I'm tr I tried it out with my other group, and I like it a lot. So I'm no longer going to roll to hit. You are going to roll to dodge. Is how that's going to. Work. I hate. <laughs> nice. So um, that is what you are going to do. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and start. So what's going to happen is I'm going to have. Uh, two of them attack Root Beer Float. One of them is attacking Arnie. One of them is attacking um, Horus. And two of them are attacking Oakenshield. Okay? So, mm -hmm. what is your armor class, Oakenshield? Uh, negative one. Negative one. All right. So, so, you need to roll a three or better in order to dodge. So go ahead and roll a d20 twice. Uh, I'm sorry. Go ahead and roll a d20 six times. Roll six d20. Wait, they're... six d20s? Yeah, they have three attacks each. Two claws oh, and a bite each. Lord. Damn. So six attacks. Okay. Uh, looks like all of them pass. So, yeah. So these two jump <laughs> on top of you, and they're clawing at you, and your shield is glowing, and basically it's like about <laughs> half of the shots you just move out of the way with the shield, and then they're hitting your, your plate mail, but it's just not going through because, you know, it's plate mail. Um, but one of them has, like, latched onto your arm with his bite, and he's not letting go. Um, all right. <laughs> Horus, uh, what is your armor class? Uh, it's one. One. So you need to roll. Um, it's, yeah, you need to roll basically a three or better. And so you okay. have three attacks coming at you, so roll 3d20. 3d20. Three d20. Three d20. Six, ten, and twelve. Yep. So boom. The guy's coming at you, 
and basically the same thing. Like their their attacks are not very effectual um, with the um, what should call it um, with the armor. Um, and um, Arnie, you're gonna roll for root beer float. He's got six yep. attacks coming at him. What is root beer floats armor class? Uh, it says seven is sheet. no. It should be three. Um, I messed that up. Okay. So if you can edit that, go ahead. Because you bought barding for him. You bought plate, like, armor for him. I did, yeah. This is three. So three. Um, so you All need right. to roll six attacks, and you need to basically get uh, fives or better. So I got a one, one, 16, 16, 15, five. So I had two hits. All right, so ones are bad because those are like critical fails um, yeah. is what we're doing. Oh, no. um, but everything else. So he gets hit twice. Um, I'll go ahead and roll damage for him. He takes, oh, no. He takes three points of damage. Okay. And oh, they no. strip the armor off of him. Um, they strip like part of his helmet off and they strip part of his... Um, is barding off. So basically he loses two points of armor. Um, so his AC okay. that you just made a three is now a five. Better than what I thought it was. <laughs> so, And now you've got three attacks against you. you guys. Arnie, uh, what's your AC? Mine, I got a 16, 13, and a one. So. 16, 13, and a one. All right. So My AC is a five. Five. So, so that you need to roll uh, sevens or better for them to, to not okay. hit you. So one does hit. So um, he bites onto you and takes you down to the ground. He's now on top of you. So you have, you have a dude like flat up on top of you. And you take three points of damage. Oh, wait. HP, it's max, right? That I yeah, yeah, you, you guys are all starting at max. So, um, one of them is on Arnie, right? Yep. Yeah. So, it's we're going to go to a new round. Um, I have to ask, um, Horace, are you casting this round? Uh, these aren't constructs right they are not constructs they are definitely and i literally have organ. nothing to cast well you do have i think several magic spells i only have turn uh construct turn no. constructs you have four first level spells oh i thought i had four first level spell slots you do which means you have four uh, the equivalent of four first level spells um, give me two seconds to, um, go into, you look cool. They do look cool. All right. So, where is Cleric of Magic user spells? Yeah, get this guy off of me before, because I have to attack last. So, Like, honestly, the one thing I want for this Cleric is just heat metal. Because... If somebody has plate, you could just boil them. I mean, I'm just thinking for crafting reasons, like for blacksmithing reasons. Then you wouldn't need a forge. You would literally just be able to... Arnie only knows kill. Alright. Um, let me go ahead and add a handout here real quick.
All right. Oh. Can, can you see that? Yeah. So those are the spells. Those are first level spells. You get four of them. Uh, pick which ones you want, real quick. Uh, and that's for including the turn undead. Turn undead is an ability. It's not a spell. Oh, okay. Um, remove fear can also cause fear. You can memorize it as cause fear if you would like. So you, it's reversible. So you can either have remove fear or cause fear. All right. So I think I'm gonna have cure light wounds. Okay. Wait, what's cause light wounds? That's the opposite of it. <laughs> I'm you... guessing it's just, like, 1d6 or whatever? Yep. Yep. Oh. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do a... Tear Light Wounds. Okay. Pause Fear. Okay. Can you duplicate spells? You can. For huh. clerics, I allow them. I allow them to do pause light wounds. Okay. One more and light. Okay, so that's the four you have. All right. So, are you planning on casting a spell this round? Um. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna terrify the one that's on Arnie. Uh, what is Arnie? So you're That's gonna damn, you're gonna use uh, cause light wounds, cause fear. Oh, you're using cause fear. Cause fear is a is an area of effect. It'll affect multiple people. Oh, Ooh, so I can, can just, yeah. I can just grenade it down on all of them. The yeah, theoretically yes. So let's see. Will it affect? Uh. Oh no! I'm sorry. It's a single target. It's a single target. Okay. So you're planning on casting it on the one that's on Arnie? Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Um, now we roll initiative. So uh, go ahead um, and Arnie, roll initiative for me. Oh, do we not get a... Yeah, a do we not get a turn? You guys did get a turn, didn't you? Or did I not? Uh-uh. Oh, no. there. Sorry. Yeah. All right. Go ahead and do your thing, because I'm Space Cadet. <laughs> We got that. All right. Um, normally, I should have asked you if you're going to cast uh, before the other round, but I'm going to go ahead and let you cast it this round. Uh, you didn't get hit, so it wouldn't have broke it anyway. Um, so you want to go ahead and ca you're casting your spell on the one on Arnie, correct? Uh huh. All right. Go ahead and um, roll a d20 to see um, whether this guy can uh, save or not. 18. Nice. He does. <laughs> oh, he does. Yes. You're rolling for him? Were we rolling for him. for him or were we rolling for us against him? You're rolling for him. Uh, do uh, you prefer me to roll their saving throws? I was just letting y'all roll more dice. I would, uh, I, I would like for you to do you. You yeah, want me I would to like roll this in. To the other people, yeah. All right. Just I will, so that we I don't will do get that. Oh. All right. So I will roll. So you're casting that. All right. So um, you basically are like, you know, by the flames of the forge, you like run for your <laughs> life. And like this guy, like you see light in his eyes, like that turns into like uh, fire, you know, like from the heat of the forge. And um, he he starts like panting because uh, what is it? Reptiles don't really sweat. So he's trying to like expel heat basically from his mouth. You think he thinks he's possibly on fire or burning, and he starts running. I, you have the Ghost Rider spirit. <laughs> so, boom. That guy just starts taking off. <laughs> so, he is he's there. So, Arnie, uh, you are no longer... You're on the ground, but you are no longer um, uh, have a dude on top of you. Um, so, I've got an... I need an action from Arnie, and I need an action from Oakenshield. That's 20, D20. Well, what action are you doing? Oh, I I have to attack last because I have a... You're using a your alarm. alarm? Okay. Yeah. So he's using I, will, his... I also have a, um, Rubeer. 
Yep. Um, so you can roll for root beer if you want. Fifteen. Oh, use his matrix if you can, because that that'll help. I'll keep the fifteen. I just want to see his matrix when you roll. Um, ah, so. okay. Um, I think I know what you're talking about. Yeah, gotcha. Yeah, the dice next to his attack. I'll keep your fifteen because that's a pretty good roll. I did Boom. it again. 12. There you go. So that way I can see. So he would hit like up to an armor class of two. So yes, he bites into the guy. Um, that's crap damage. I'll let you roll that. Roll a d6 for me. Uh, but normally we'll keep whatever damage is in there. All right. So, oh. this, so this guy takes four damage. So boom. get out of here. And he's five feet. Yeah, he won't be able to throw him. That guy got hit. All right. Uh, Oak and Shield, what are you doing? I'm going to attack the one uh, that is on my arm. That's on your arm? Okay, so it's that one right there. So go ahead and uh, roll your attack. Now, is there a way to have a plus one? Yeah, it's. It, um, I already put it in there. Oh, you did? Okay. Yeah, so if you go into your, where it says sword plus one, I've already have everything put in if you click it. Okay. Oh, so, no. You go into your character sheet. Okay. And then where you have your items, like your, and it says sword plus one. Yeah. There's a die next to it. Click that die. Oh, okay. Okay. Did it go through? No, oh, I don't okay. see it. Oh. There you go. Nice. Oh, that, that definitely yeah. hits, and that's a heck of a lot of damage. That is, that's a crit right there. The, it's not a crit, I'm talking, but it's a really uh -oh. solid hit. So Dang. the t -t 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 you basically, he's on your arm, and, um, and he's, like, pulling and pulling and pulling. So you take your shield and, like, stick it between his mouth and, like, it, and your arm and pry him off. And as you pop his head out, you you take a swipe with that arm that it was biting and <laughs> cut his head right off. <laughs> so he's dead. Boom, dead. Yeah, he drops to the floor, um, <laughs> like uh, you know, like no, uh, like a sack of potatoes. No, this doesn't kill, but is he resistant to fire? Um, no, he's not like He's not a yeah. uh, a creature that, that that's going to have that extra effect on. Okay. Um, and Arnie, with your big pole arm. So I assume you get up and All you're right, gonna crack the guy with the pole arm. Yep. Oh yeah. Go ahead and uh, give him a smack. I would like to actually hit the guy. Um, this one. Okay, you can do that because you got the pole arm. Pop right over the top of your dog. Bam. Uh. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah. So, uh, 12. so basically, you you reach over, you hit him, and you hit him solidly in the chest. But his the plates of his natural body are solid, very solid. So you figure you have to hit a joint in order to like really like get a slice in there. When um, when Oakenshield hit him, he got him right in between like two plates, and it cut through him. You stabbed him solidly in the chest but it's it just it was dead on a plate so it like scuffs off i'm talking it takes a bite out of the the the, the natural kind of hide uh but he doesn't look wounded all right i think that's everyone um now we get to go back to rolling for initiative um and i will ask chorus are you planning on casting a spell um Okay, so the uh, the guy with the red dot on him, how mm -hmm. damaged is he? He's been hurt. Um, Take uh, him out. He's attacking me. Take him out. Oh, no. he the, the guy who was attacking me ran away. Yeah, I, I set the fear of the forge in him. Yeah. <laughs> So are you um, casting yes or no? I got I got need an answer. You don't have a lot of time to think about it. It's combat. So are you casting or no? 
Uh, yeah, I think I think I'm gonna actually no, I'm not gonna cast a spell. I'm gonna wallop the one between. So we're doing side initiative, and the GM got a reasonable number. I got to see what Horace gets. Oh, someone dropped. Uh, roll D6. Four. Ooh, simultaneous actions. All right, so oh, I got God. a four as well. So um, I'm going to go ahead. This guy runs off. Oop, he's gone. And um, let me do this real quick. What? Okay, so um, they will continue to do what they're doing. Um, so simultaneous, I'll let y'all go ahead and go first, but anyone you kill will still get to, to make an attack. Okay. So who wants to go first? I'm going to attack the one that's next to the one I just killed. This one right there? Uh, yes. Okay. Go ahead and uh, make your roll. Boom. So you hit him and you hit him solidly in the shoulder. Um, it probably is going to leave a really nasty bruise, uh, but it does not do damage. So it does not do enough to like start peeling him up, peeling him up. All right, okay. uh, Horace, what are you doing? You're pummeling, um, correct? Yeah, I'm I'm walloping a man with a uh, hammer. All right, go ahead and roll. Uh, okay, so I just uh, do the dice thing on the hammer, right? Yep. Right next to the hammer, it should do the attack matrix. Uh, do I have a threshold mo modifier? No. Or? no. Uh, That's if I give you like a plus or a minus to hit or something. Oh. <laughs> so, uh, that's a, what we call a dirty 20. That's not a natural 20, but that that's good. Um, and that will definitely hit. So, you give this nice. guy a nice wallop. So, um... You crack um, him a, a, across the jaw, and his jaw dislocates. Like, <laughs> um, so his mouth actually isn't coming together correctly at the moment. He's still up though, uh, but he's you know a lot worse for wear. So basically, he has one less attack now. That's not necessarily saying that. I'm saying he's he's closer uh. to being dead than he was. So. <laughs> Um, Arnie, um, if you want to go ahead and make an attack with, um, root beer float. Yeah. I, there you go. 15. 15 will definitely hit. And he is hanging on and shredding that thing's arm and just, it, it's about to come off. Uh, but, the, but it is still up. Darn and go ahead and make your attack. Actually, they all go, and then you'll go, Arnie, because you go last. Yep. So, um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Well, could I could I draw? Could I pull out my sword and attack? Or yeah, if you I want to, you can you can uh, pull out your sword and drop the pole arm, pull out the sword, and just go to town. Oh yeah, I want to use Dragon Heart, the one that's a good at dragons. 
Okay. Are these classified as dragons? These are know. these are definitely not dragons. So dragons are much bigger. Well, it's, still plus, it's still a plus one hit and plus one damage. So yeah, it's already built in. So just hit the button and you'll be good to go. Which one are you attacking? I assume the one that you're that you can reach, uh, which is yeah, the one. that this one. Okay. I don't think I hit it. You do not. So that one's a solid whiff. So you just and the thing ducks as the your the dogs on there. Your your attack was a little cautious because you didn't want to hit root beer. Yeah. Okay. Understood. All right. So they are going to make their attacks back. So I basically have one verse each of you, and I'm going to do it that way. So um, Oak and Shield, please roll 3d20, and you are trying to get um, a three or better. Nice. <laughs> Those are close. Nice. Very, very close. So nice. <laughs> you literally, like, it's holding on to you now. And, like, you have your visor shut on your full plate, and its tongue is actually going through the visor slit and licking your nose. And, like, it's trying to, and it's, like, oh. peeling some of the scales off of the chain mail that's underneath your plate. Some of those are popping um, as as it's basically, like, grabbing onto you. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Let's go to Horus. Horus, you are being attacked as well. Roll 3d20. Um, you also need threes or better. Okay. Uh, so, who's attacking me? The, the so, one that you just hit with the uh, with your okay. uh, m a hammer of doom. <laughs> 3d20. Come on. So, you Eight, get... One and two. So... Good news, bad news. You critted on a dodge roll. So what I'm doing for that is you get to do an immediate attack. Oh, no. So go ahead and, and swing a Warhammer at him. Uh, yeah. And you critted. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yes. All right. So this is what happens. It jumps at you and it's like clawing all over you. It, what is it? It pulls your helmet up on your full plate and bites into your neck. So you will take one point of damage. Oh, what? one point of damage. Okay. So you take one because that's the two that you rolled because one of the attacks got through. But then mm -hmm. you it's biting you. And you just cross-check it with your shield. It falls on the ground, and you just bring it down on his skull, and it goes, <laughs> and it pops like a uh, like a can of watermelon. Yeah. <laughs> so he is no longer with us. All right, and I, I, I guess he, he's at the stairways to heaven. Yes, that is correct. Yeah. He's on. Them. So, he's burning the. He's on an escalator right now. He has no choice. <laughs> uh, go ahead and roll for root beer float. 3d20. Um, his armor class is now a 5. And uh, so he's going to need to get 7s or better. Yes! Oh. 920 and a twit. Let's he go. critted, so he gets an opportunity to strike. So those ones you rolled earlier, now the 20s are coming in, so... <laughs> he does miss, but you know he doesn't get hit, and that's a good thing. Yeah. So he's he's good, and now um, you've got um, three attacks coming at you. So go ahead and roll Arnie. those. The five oh, is going to hit you. Yeah. All right, you take four. Sweet. So <clears throat> you you're like kind of dancing a little bit with the guy and you throw a strike in at him to try to hit him and he just grabs the back of your arm and rakes down it and like there's like a big gash in your forearm okay um i think that's everyone's oh, wait, gone. Can I, attack? I can attack now right you attacked early remember you dropped your pole arm 
Ah, okay. Yes. Okay. I did forget about that. You dropped your pole arm and everything like that. So it's now a new round. Um, are you planning on casting? Horus. Um, yeah, I'm going to cast. What are you planning on casting? Cause light wounds on the one that's injured. The thing is, you have to be able to in touch range of that, and you are not. Oh, never mind then. I'm just gonna move around and then attack. You got three moves right there. You got three squares. Uh, you can't. You, you cannot wait. move and cast. Okay. So you have to okay. stay still. So you can move and and hit him with a mace. That's for sure. Who's injured? I am. Yeah, I Arnie's have pretty. Ball. Arnie's reasonably hurt. I think. Uh, how much life points have been taken off you, and how much have been taken off the dog? Seven off of me, and, um... Okay, I'm gonna use Cure Light Wounds on you. Okay, All right. so you're casting Cure Light Wounds for the round. Boop, boop, boop. Mm. Okay. Let's do initiative. Um, uh, Oaken Shield, roll initiative. Roll a d6. Okay. You toss oh. Odin. Good job. <laughs> I appreciate that. Tango Thank you. Is not allowed to roll. Why does uh, Tasso have to roll? <laughs> I love how the group has the verb to tasso a roll um, because yeah. it, it's very true. Um, all right. Thank you, Tasso. I needed that this round. Let me see something. So, one, no. two, three. Three or two. Yep. So, they're going to keep doing what they do. All right. Boom, boom, boom. Where is... So he's here, talking there. Yeah, they're going to stay still. They're not going to They're not gonna move at the moment. He's pretty hurt, though. Okay, so this one's going to take a step back. And go through here. He's going under that, that tree. And he's going to move back to here. Um, and he's kind of like licking his wounds. Um, you're, you and the dog both get an attack on it with a plus two to your threshold. With the what? Uh, what? So when you roll, it says threshold. You add, just put two in there because you're getting a plus two to hit. Okay. So, um, what's happening with the, uh, two lizard men? They're They're still there. They're still there. They're going to be attacking. Oh, go ahead, um, Eric, go ahead and roll for you and Root Beer Flow right now. These are free attacks right now. They're, uh, free attacks because he's fleeing. Um, I would actually like to try and beat him up and not kill him and capture him. So you're trying to do subdual damage. Yes. All right. With so, with um, I'm just going to subtract two yeah. off of your roll um, to uh, do that. So go ahead. Use dragon, dragon heart and, or the pole arm. Um, you could use either one. It's your choice. Well, actually, the pole arm's on the ground. So to, you drop the sword, pick up the pole arm, and use the pole arm. That's that's going to take your whole turn. You can drop a weapon and get one out. But to like kind of retrieve and do all that, I think that that might be okay. a little much. So go ahead and smack him with your sword. I'll use dragon heart, but I use a two to the threshold modifier. No, I actually do no no modifier because you're trying to do okay. uh, subdual damage. But I'm taking it into account. So you miss because you're trying to hit him with the flat of the blade. Um, and yeah, it's just not working him out. You can have your dog attack him, but he cannot do subdual damage. He basically either bites or doesn't. But he's trained enough right. that if you yelled, like, you know, nine, he would probably not attack. Um, he's he's atta- he hits him, and he'll bring him down, actually. So as he's running, like, here, the dog goes, Bruh! and, like, jumps on top of him. And, like, Can I have him just maul him? Just make him, like, do fear damage? Yeah, he's mauling the hell out of him right now. He's ripping his throat out. I guess that's, that's what the there dog you go. Oh, yes. So he he's like pulling him around and yanking him and doing all that stuff the dogs do when they when they hurt 
uh, and they they kind of get a kill in. So he's gone. Oh yeah. All right. So these two guys are going to make some attacks. Um, so they both move up, and oh no, they both basically like start um, like. Everyone starts getting this like foul whiff uh, of odor as like they start reeking and smelling terrible. Everyone in the uh, group make a uh, saving throw versus poison. Twenty. Did you did you hit? Uh, the what what is yeah. it? If you go no, under your saving throws, okay. you should be able to click the saving throw. Oh, Fifteen. Okay. Oh, saving throw. All right. Yeah. Oh, fail. Oh, the one time I won a freaking 20 after we rolled that. Yeah, really? Yes. <laughs> Need to re-roll. Use the saving throw thingy. But I'll penalize you for it. You'll never remember to do it. So now you'll never forget to hit your saving throw button. I failed. You failed. Oh, so that's not instant death, right? It is. Uh, Arnie. All right, what about root beer? Root beer's not over there at the moment, so no, not yet. That's, that's not instant death, right? You'll see. And you make it as well. I should take the second one, Tasso, but I'll take the first one. Um, <laughs> so, Gage, uh, you're the only one that's really affected by it. You're basically nauseated, and you um, you throw up in your helmet. And Ooh. so you're at negative two to hit. Um, from this oh. point on. So they're moving up, and they're both going to make attacks. So, um, Oakenshield, go ahead and roll 3d20 versus you. Oh, no. So one of them gets through. the. He basically <laughs> rips um, your gauntlet off and bites into your arm. Uh, it doesn't pierce the chainmail, but it bruises the hell out of it. So you okay. take three points of damage. Okay. And this guy is going to go ahead and you're casting. So since you're casting, he's going to go ahead and try to attack you. He's going to try to disrupt that spell. So uh, go ahead and roll three attacks against Horus. Uh, you got to get threes or better. Okay, then. Got threes or better. And, and you got, you got 20. You got a 20, but you're casting. Since you're casting, you you can't get a, a, a hit back, basically, because you're in the midst of doing all your prayers and everything like that. So he's not able to hit you. Um, so he's good. And... Oh, no. <laughs> Those guys move up, and it's officially y'all's turn. So go ahead. Your spell goes off. You touch Arnie, and uh, just roll a d6, and that's how much he gets back. Okay. Six. Nice. Nice. <laughs> So six points of damage gets you get back. You're feeling pretty good. Uh, Oak and Shield and Arnie, you both have an attack. May yeah, I'm right. The power of the forge. I'm attacking the same one. Okay. All right. That hits, and it doesn't... Near Tazo. Me? Not Tazo. Yeah, I'm attacking the one that I can reach. Yep. So, boom, he gets hit for five. So, you basically, you finally figured out the trick to this, and you, you look at the plates, and there's like a spot in the middle where all the p plates converge, and you aim for that, uh, and you spear them pretty good. Um, on the as he like ah, and hisses at you. 
Uh, Oak and Shield, go ahead and roll your attack. Oh, yeah. Attack the same one. He's not dead yet. Oh. Um, and could I move uh, Root Beer over there? And Root Beer is or... mauling the crap out of that guy. All right, cool. I appreciate that. That's what I wanted him to do. <laughs> I got 12. So you you connect again with the guy. You're just not doing damage. Like You're hitting them and hitting him. And it's just not going through the plates that are on their skin. Dog. <laughs> All right. Uh, I think that's everyone for the round. They went, you went. That's good. And let me see. Okay. They are in it to win it. And. You know what the funny thing is? I literally got the same attack wall as uh, fast. Can we sorry. see can we see what they're doing with the tree yet? No, you don't know what they're doing. You think whatever it whatever they were doing, it, it, you would have to go over here to take a look at it. Yeah, okay. So, um we gotta roll initiative, but first things first, Horace, are you planning on casting? Um I'm Okay, so basically, after this uh, this lizard man tried taking a swipe at me, I had an I've had enough, so I'm just gonna wallop the hell out of him. So you're attacking. So no no spells. So let's roll initiative. Um, Horace, go ahead and roll initiative. Okay. All right. Four. I, I got a six, so they're gonna go first. <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> what happened? You just said with the computer issues, the fucking program was showing the wrong total because the battery that... We hear you, Tazo. Tazo, go on mute. If you lose power... Uh, it's He's not going to be able to make it. So they'll stack up over here. Those two will. Oh, your toss is about to get screwed over. Oh no! Wait, is that is that one that standing on the other one's corpse? Yes. Okay. Sorry, the change. Okay, I'm back. Okay. So they moved up. They're gonna do their attacks. Um. So Tasso, I need you to roll nine. D20. Okay. <laughs> you can get some 20s in there. Okay. Uh, so that's a 3. That's all. You just barely defeated all of them. Yeah. They all basically, like, they're raining <laughs> shots down upon you, and you square up dwarven style. And you just go into this, like, <laughs> defensive posture. Yeah. And, like, they're hitting you. They're just not going through. Like, the hit's coming in, yeah, but... and you're turning your pauldron into it. So it's just connecting straight on the pauldron. You're you're putting your shield up, and you hear slaps against it and, and scrapes. You can see bits of paint on the ground that they've pulled off of your shield. You have the Floyd, Med Floyd Mayweather defense. Just yep. Rocking back everything. and forth. Um, <laughs> Hurst? Um, Horace, they're gonna go ahead and uh, do three attacks on you as well. The one that's there, okay. so go ahead and roll those. Ooh, one got through. So one gets through. So you you're blocking and weaving and things like that, um, and it sees the blood coming off a little bit that came off your neck when you got hit before. So it knows that's kind of a vulnerable spot. So it. it basically rams its claws into that area. And you take four points of damage. Oh, jeez. Okay. So is Rootbeer still mauling the guy? Mauling the... No, lizard? he'll come back now. I'll let you take right. over for him again. So, I'll move that corpse over. 
Let me see something here real quick. So, where am I? Oh. Your spells? We we yeah, talked about I them earlier. And I can't find them on my character sheet. The there's no oh there's a spot for it, uh, but we'll talk about that later. We don't have to worry about that now. You've got you've got your two spells left, so I think that's you. Tasso, mute when you're not talking because yeah. I can hear in the background. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Go on. No problem. No problem. And all right, so now it's y'all's turn. Um, you can kind of take your actions as you see fit. I'll go around. Um, let's go ahead and um, we'll start with you, um, uh, Oak and Shield. What do you want to do? You're muted. The the same thing as last turn. Okay, so you're going to hit the same guy? Yeah. Okay, go ahead and roll that. As much as you, as we joke about you tossing rolls, your dwarf is a beast. I'm just going to say that. Yeah. <laughs> oh. So I'll take the first one. So, no. So you're connecting. So you're not able to get purchased with this, like, these blade shots. It's just not happening. They're not hurting you, but you're not hurting them either. Uh, and it's becoming a good old-fashioned slog. All right. Uh, Horace, what are you doing? Um, This guy's pissed me off long enough. So uh, I'm going to try to crack his skull open. You do that. Go ahead and roll that uh, that beautiful hit. I want to see it. I'm rooting for you. Sixteen. <laughs> That'll hit for sure. And that's some massive damage. So... <laughs> You go ahead and you bring you bring the hammer down on him. So he's now been crushed beneath that hammer. So I'm going to start moving some of these dead bodies out of the way. Um, so yeah, you bring your hammer down. You basically hit him on the knee, and then he, he goes down to one knee, and he's like hissing at you from one knee, and you just crack him in the skull. Um, and uh, Arnie, you get a little bit of uh, lizard brains uh, across your, uh, your chain mail. Um, root beer and Arnie, the the lovely combination. What are you guys doing? Uh, root beer would like to run here in front of Arnie, and Arnie would like to pick up his pole arm. Okay, so you're you're doing the pole arm. You want root beer to go here and attack? If Arnie can pick up and go here, I would like that. You can pick up and move there. You won't be able to attack. Root beer will be able to attack, but you won't. Yeah, fine with me. Okay. Uh, I would also like to attack, yes. Okay, so go for that. Um, go ahead and roll Root Beer's attack. I hope you know that those lizards are going to go around to the dog and to Root Beer and Arnie. So Most like... No, with, with the rush over there, he does a lunge and he misses uh, yeah. with it, but, you know, it's good to go for as far as those purposes go. Um, so I think that's the round because they've gone, you've gone and we will go ahead and roll over. Um, I am checking my turn for initiative and yep. So go ahead and roll initiative out uh, real quick. Hold on. Um, uh, um, Horace, are you planning on casting? Um, what spells do I have left? You picked them earlier, um, so you I have... have wounds and light, right? So what you have left is uh, cause and light are the only two spells you have left. Um, oh, yeah, and it has to be direct physical contact. Yep, it's touch attack. Could light be a blinding kind yes, of thing? Yes, you can cast it on people's eyes. Um, so basically... Uh, this one right here, I'm going to cast light right in its eyes because I don't want it getting close to me. Okay, so you are casting. That's yeah. all I got to know. All right, Arnie, go ahead and roll initiative. 
Four. Four is pretty good. Is it as good as my five? No, it is not. So ah! we will go first. Okay. Uh, these things are relatively intelligent. Um, they're not I'm talking. They're not, you know, they're not geniuses, but they're relatively intelligent. So, uh, oh, Arnie, do me a favor. Roll a save versus poison for um, uh, for root beer float. Oh yeah, because it just came over to the one spewing. Oh God, I knew it was coming over. Well, I did put the zero. Can I put the one? I had the threshold modifier at zero. Does that count? Oh well, it, it should be at it should be at a threshold modifier of of zero for that for that save. So for the is save, it, uh, yeah, this is me. Then I got a one fail. I yeah. knew okay. one of them was so, going to come over to me. The dog starts retching and barfing, and it's at negative two to hit as well. Mm -hmm. So, all right. So they move, and they're going to do some attacks. Um, right now, I've got six attacks on uh, Root Beer. I've got six attacks on Oak and Shield, and I'm going to have three attacks on the Caster. Um, let's start with Horus because I think it's fun. Um, go ahead and roll your uh, roll three attacks. Come, yeah. All right. So, so nothing, nothing, nothing. They swipe and swipe and swipe. Um, go ahead and roll uh, attacks against Root Beer. Six of them. Oh dear. Would the first one count? Which one? Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't see. Uh, boom, that'll work. So he's gonna get hit twice with that. Yeah. And one of them's like so crit. he takes six points of damage. Is the dog dead? No, nah, not yet. I'm guessing it's close. He's pretty tough. I have, yeah, three three hit points left. Uh, so they are starting to, like, claw into it. It's like the plates that have been removed. It, it's difficult. Um, you know, he doesn't have nearly the protection he had before. Um, and um, Oakenshield, go ahead and roll six attacks versus you. So you got one critical good. Um, so go ahead and make an attack. So you miss. You're rolling really good damage, but you're rolling really bad to hit. So just <laughs> so just whiffing those hits. All right, um, that's everything for the round, I believe. Except yep. for the blinding. Oh, you, oh wait, y'all haven't gone. They yeah. went first. Okay, so let's do that. Um, we will go ahead, and I will roll the saving throw versus. Uh, I assume you're casting on the one that came up to you. Yeah. Okay. Um, it stumbles back and like light starts pouring out of its eyes um, oh and God. it's holding its eyes and it can't uh, and it kind of starts collapsing onto the ground. Yeah, as it's as this is going on, I'm screaming, feel the light of the forge. So let's give him a little uh, marker here. Something that looks cool. Um, so it being blinded, it can't really dodge attacks very well. I'm guessing right? it, its armor class is, is greatly reduced, um, and okay. its its attack ability is greatly reduced too. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba, uh, Arnie and um, Root Beer. So, so how ahead. far can you, how far can Root Beer move? How many tiles? He can move. Uh, he's pretty slow. Uh, he's got some armor taken off of him now, though. So why don't we say he can move six spaces? Hasso's phone is about to die. Um, 
I'd move him there. One, 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 two, three, four. Guys? Yeah, I saw that Pezzo's phone was about to. Okay. All right, so he's moving back. Yes. And then could I attack from here with Arnie? You can. So go ahead and make that, that pole arm attack. Damn. Yep, that is a, that is a miss, unfortunately. So you're stabbing oh. over it. You're worried about hitting the pup as he's moving out of the way, and it's kind of uh, taking your shot off, off course a little bit. So... Are you still there, Tasso? Do you want to roll right now while you're still you still have some life, or do you want me to do it for you? Tasso left the game. Yeah, I got ten percent left, but uh, hold on. Okay. Oh yeah, I, I'm seeing here. Yeah, if you're not in the room. All right, I can roll for you. Okay. I assume you're gonna just attack the one in front of you. Yeah. All right. Boom. <laughs> let's see so I rolled a 17 for you to hit which is awesome and uh, you did good damage too so you managed to take out the one that's right in front of you Jason this one and that's him yeah all right. New round. Um, Horace, are you casting your last spell? Uh, no, I'm not. All right. And so we need to roll initiative. Horace, go ahead and roll a d6 for initiative. Three. I got a five. So they're going to go first. Uh, why are they so fast? They start booking. They start running and running and running, and they're getting out of there. Um, so they are moving. Now, are you guys going to try to chase them down, or are you going to let them go? 100%. I want to chase them down. They don't get to punch me and get away. All right. Right now, they're moving a lot quicker than you. Um, yeah. So you guys can kind of do yeah. your... I want to chase them to this tree right here to see what they're doing. Like, I want to try and catch up to them, and if they keep running after I get here, they're going to keep running. They're 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 oh. they have lost the nerve to fight. Then yeah, how far can I move with Arnie? You can go. We can go to non-combat at this point if oh, no okay. one's planning on. Then, yeah. So we'll. I will go ahead and I will. Uh, boop. They all run away. Then, yeah, I want to check out the tree. Okay. Boop. 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 So, um, you go over to the tree, and at the base of the tree, it looks like there's um, some relatively... It looks like someone dug up some dirt... And then, in a little bit of haste, tried to, like, put the grass back over top of it to make it look like no one had dug up the dirt. <laughs> it's, I'm talking, it's, it's pretty obvious, because it was, you could tell it was kind of done in haste. So, it looks like they were probably trying to dig a hole and, like, and hide something. But the problem is, y'all kind of stumbled across them. Let's look at what they're trying to hide. Or right, could we check any of the dead bodies? Do they have anything? The um, you can take a look, yeah, if you want. Uh, 
I'm gonna go to the one that has light pouring from its eyes. And, um, are its scales sharp? No, they're akin to lizard scales. Okay, then I'm gonna use some of my rope to tie it up. Okay, it's pretty helpless at this point. Oh, sweet. And, um, yeah. Okay, so you have that. Um, mm-hmm. let's see. I would like to uh, uh, attack it to make it the like knocked out. It has light pouring from its eyes. Yes, that would make it very easy to knock it out. And it's tied up. Yes, that would make it even easier. It would be super easy. <laughs> Sure. But no, I, I would also like to check the tree. Okay. So what are you doing around the tree to check? So I see that there's like an obvious hole. Let's start there. Okay. So you start, what, digging up the hole? Yeah. I have a shovel. Uh, it, really, it doesn't take much to just kind of like pull up the grass. And like it's loose dirt because it's recently been like um, excavated. And it, it, you like reach your arm in there, and it looks like they were basically hiding something under the like the base of the tree. Um, and it feels like um, like a sack. I just got a sack from under a tree. Then okay, so you pull out the sack. <laughs> Do you wish yeah. to open it? Um, I would like to open it away from me. Okay, so you like hold it out and like open it. Nothing yeah. comes out okay um does it feel like what what does it feel like is inside the sack uh because you're kind of a of the bandit variety and things like that like you start feeling the bag and uh it feels like there's there's probably a decent amount of gems in there yeah let's look in there let's peep so you take a peep in there um you see a grand total of Just break these down in my items. You have t- there's 23 gems in there, oh. and you know that they're probably ranging in value anywhere from five gold pieces to fifteen hundred. Oh my god! Like there's various ones in there. Like there's there's some of them that look like they could be worth five to ten gold pieces, and then there's some there's some of them in there that look like they could be worth, you know, fifty to a hundred, um, and then there's one in there that's like a very big kind of uh, cut emerald, and that one you know is like the the the, the king, like yeah that that that's quite yeah. nice. So so for my items, I just put twenty three gems ranging from five to fifteen hundred. Yep, until you get right. to like a town, in essence, you won't know yeah. kind of the, uh, the the value basically of them. So can I um, turn off the light spell? Uh, no, it's going to keep going and it's going to keep burning on the thing until <laughs> until it wears out. You know that it should last probably two hours. Oh God! Do you want to go back to a town and try and? Ransom off the prisoner and then keep on going? Um, or do you want to keep on going? I'm going to start questioning him, see if he understands my language. He, he doesn't appear to understand what you're saying. Uh, you don't uh, even know what it is. <laughs> so it's difficult. Uh, commu- it, it doesn't seem to know common. What are you? Um. Then I'm just going to sling it over my uh, back. And uh, look it's, at the other guys. Like, it's qu- quite heavy. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's, five feet it's, tall. it's yeah. a five to six foot tall muscular lizard. Is it about the same weight as a muscular human? No, it's probably like a similar weight to a six foot gator. Oh, God. <laughs> it's so an pure muscle. Okay. Um, 
hold on. Ask if it knows any maids. It's a joke. The last year ago, yeah. How dare you? <laughs> How dare you make a joke about the Argonian maid? Don't forget Lusty. She was very Lusty. Uh huh. Yeah. Or... I don't even know what y'all are talking about, but I'm gonna take <laughs> it as it's a very interesting thing. Oh, no, it's a, book, it's a book in Skyrim. Ah, okay. Yeah. All right. Skyrim stuff. I don't know. I don't know. Old man syndrome. So. <laughs> um, see. I'm going to... Where are we going anyway? You were headed to, um, you know, this kind of like possible old dwarven fortress, possible old asylum, possible old, um, you know, thing of that nature. Uh-huh. I would like to go back to a town to try and see what... Well, I'd like to go back to Helix because I have the gym there and possible recruits and a shaman that could sell my gems. And I could also give some gems to my compat compatriots. Um, did we find anything on the corpses? The no, nothing in particular. Like you know, you. Yeah, I'm talking. You found that sack, and that is uh, specifically kind of what they were, uh, you know, trying to 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 do something with. Could I try heal my pup? <laughs> uh, not particularly. I'm talking time is going to heal him. Time yeah. or time and or magic. I'll put on a band aid. That'll do it. Yeah, you can definitely like. I'll Oh, I would like to pick up my bat statues that yeah, the people you, didn't you, you care got about. Those back. You can have those back. Yeah. I'm taking my super sexy bat statue. Um, how about we continue on towards that thing? All right, but just know that I'm not trying to get into any more fights. Dragging this Argonian behind us. Yeah, let, I mean... It's kind of hard to adventure with a, a prisoner. I feel as though we should either. I feel as though we should find out more about the, this thing, or we should take it back to the town, and figure yeah. out what it is, and then we could come back to where it lives, maybe. Yeah. How close are we to town? Uh, you're roughly a half a day's trip from town. And we got we got in one f today, so it's probably like still nine a.m. Now you guys have been going like you're relatively close to um, mm. to the the place that you're headed, so you're probably about it's probably around noon, uh, maybe a little late. Yeah, it's probably around one, and you are probably about an hour from the place you were trying to go. You're about four to five hours from town. Yeah, Arnie, how about uh, me and you uh, carry this thing to the uh, place we're supposed to go? I have it hogtied. Well, I'm thinking sun sets at seven. Seven is our and usual, we're four, yep. We're four hours away and an hour away from where we need to go. So that'd be five hours to get back if we go to where we need to go. But that'd be six hours taken away from our total time. If you So we would walk for an hour and then we would have to walk back five hours. Correct. So if it's one now and we go there, if we didn't even get into a situation, we would walk back in the dark. That's possible. So. Yeah, let's, let's head back to uh and we did kind of, we did kind of just wake up you know what i mean like it's like we don't even know what's going on in the town yet oh by the way when i'm saying town i'm sorry i'm meaning um what is it bog uh Bill. yeah bog town bog town yeah. because what should we call it helix is probably about a day and a half away how about we not go to bog town and we just go to the woods outside <laughs> 
of Bogtown. Because I don't want them to impose the taxes. You guys are you guys are staunch anti like taxes. Like I don't no, understand why we have to pay like, money to the government. That's no, true, it's yeah. Just like, it's just like they're obviously corrupt. They want quote unquote taxes. The the inn is fifty gold a night. Oh, what the heck? All right, yeah, we can, we can stay outside. It was, um, they were a little uh, testy the last time you were there, because they're, you know, they're very insular people. But they are the only source of civilization around here. So do you want to stay right outside of Helix for the night? Try to Bogtown. Not, or yeah, Bogtown for the night, and then make our way to Helix? Um... I'm thinking I'm thinking we actually go into Bogtown first ask them uh, uh like question to see what the hell this thing is. Yeah, all right, I'm about it. Yeah, let's do that. And then uh, when night comes, we go into the woods that you guys have assurances for the end that no none of you will be harmed while you're in those woods. Yeah, um, let's do that. Let's go back to town. All okay. right. So, let's see. So I will ex- remember. I- oh, uh, that's probably us losing Tasso. <laughs> yep, that's his phone dying. So what only I- because it's only because root beer got hurt so bad. That's why I want to go back to town. What we'll do is. Um, I think we'll call it here just because normally I'm planning to end around 10, 1030, somewhere in that range. So that's where we're about. We lost Tasso, So hopefully we can get started a little earlier next week. Um, and then we'll see where we go from here. We'll leave it right here with the decision of what are we going to do uh, so we can get Tasso to weigh in as well. So, uh, all right. And so I'll put everyone right there and let me do some XP because that's something that people do so what what in the world are these things wearing anyway um what is it simple kind of like jerkins and things like that uh strong jerkins didn't let us hit for 12 so all of y'all get eighty-three experience points. Wow, such a large number. Well, you do have a lot of gold worth of stuff, and gold gives that XP, but you haven't got it back to town yet. So until that happens, um, what was I gonna? And remember, if you have a ten percent bonus because of your um, your statistics, um, make sure to add that in because that would basically be eight more XP. So um, ninety one if you get the ten percent bonus. Let me take a look. I'll tell you if your character does or not. So, Horus, you do get the ten percent. Yeah. Uh, Arnie, you do not. Yeah, because your dex is bad. Like your yeah. dex is your prime requisite, but the thing is, you just your your strength is so beast, and you got a decent con. So. Um, so my dex is eight, correct? Yeah. Okay. My dex is. How is my lowest stat twelve? And so, let's see. 10%. So Root Beer gets 8 XP. Go Root Beer. Oh yeah, Root Beer is going to level up with us, right? Uh, huh. I might do something for him if he keeps if he hangs out. So he's, yeah. got, he's got a little ways I, to go. I'm kind of having him as... So it says negative 292. So yeah, just take... I, I just put that in there because he got 80. He gets 10% of basically what y'all get. So he, get, he got 8 XP. 
So. So just take that away, minus it. Yeah, that's why it's two ninety two, and it was negative three hundred originally. All right. So. Oh, okay. so you already did it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just typed it in. Oh, okay, cool. All right. So I'll have to do it again. Well, why does he have a negative? Because he's he's not even he's not even first level. He's zero level. I mean, he's he's not a he's not a character. So. Wait a second. A zero level dog has thirteen health. He's yeah. he's not level, yeah. but he has hit dice. So I don't know. It's it's just it's it's not a perfect system. It's it's just something I'm working with. So if root beer hangs out for a while, root beer might get a little better. He's still a dog though, so he's not gonna get amazing. Uh, but he might get a little better. So we'll we'll see. I just need to buy I just need to be buy like a bear or something. Do we have any like so Bears are the kind of things you capture. You don't buy. All right. You're not I, a you're not a sultan. <laughs> so. <laughs> yeah. Um. Like, what animals are there for like able to tame? For the most like part, run, you could theoretically run, tame anything that's that's tameable. But finding things is a different thing. For the most part, the only things that are really going to be for sale. Um, would be your 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 farm animals, your your and your uh, beasts of burden, your dogs, and probably you could probably get um, like a a trained uh, raptor, as in a bird of prey, not a not yeah, a, like yeah. a dinosaur, like not a dinonychus or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you could get like a falcon or something like that. Yeah. So I was thinking about getting like a falcon for like, so I don't necessarily know how I could use it because I wouldn't be able to scout, but I'd be able to like send letters or ask how much stuff talking, is they're, worth. They're really not long distance flyers in the sense of like, you know, carrier pigeons or anything like that. Mm -hmm. I'm talking, thing. it could attack things. I'm talking, they're just kind of weak as far as uh, like armor and hit points, but um, they are, you know, they can go and catch prey for you too and go hunting for you. That That's yeah. what they used them for back in the day was like they would get them to go capture like rabbits and then you have food. So stuff okay. like that. Um, stuff. Could, can I learn like a spell, like a, like a, a conjure animal or something, like a make an animal? You're, like you're not as like a weasel to go into get into like, you're not a spell caster, but that's not to say there are not magical items okay. that um, that mimic those kind of things. All right. So, so those could possibly be in your future. So, yeah. So I would like to look around for any herbs that I could use if there's any since we're in the woods. Okay. Since well, we're done now. We will... <laughs> We'll resolve that next time because I want to see what, like I said, I want to see what Tasso says to, to weigh in on it. Um, oh, yeah. So I want to see because if he's like, yeah, you know, if it sways everyone like, hey, let's go one direction or something, we'll we'll go with that. So, all right. Yeah, but can I try and find like any mushrooms, or, like things wacky, from my herb book? For, like, can your, I roll? Sure. What we'll do is, um, let me see. Because I, I read the herb book twice before, I remember, but I don't think I read it past that. I'm going to roll here for you. All right. Because I want it to be half. So. Okay, you succeed. Sweet. That was a really tough roll, too. So, uh, what I'm going to say is you find exactly what you were looking for. You find some, um, or under one of the rocks over here, you find some mushrooms, and you know that they probably have some form of psychotropic uh, effects. <laughs> nice. <laughs> and um, on that note, uh, I was wondering if I could... Uh, find like uh, raw materials like iron or something that I could mine with my pickaxe. I'm talking if you guys were planning on being here a while like 
pulling out the pickaxe ah. and going to mining would take a while. Like looking under a rock and finding some mushrooms, that doesn't take all that long. Pulling out the right. pickaxe, looking for a vein of, of ore, that's going to take a while. Uh, so never that, mind then. That would be something. If you guys plan to like make camp here, that's a different story. So that that's a, a different thing altogether. So we will uh, we will figure that out. Uh, uh, okay. Thank you. No problem. Then I, appreciate, I, will see. I appreciate the session. No problem. I appreciate y'all coming and playing. And uh, like I said, we'll see y'all uh, next week. Okay? All right. All right. Talk to y'all then.